Hi, I'm Karen Carbone, and welcome to Check It Out, where we'll explore everything that's waiting to be discovered at your Fairfax County Public Library. Today we're in downtown Vienna, visiting the Patrick Henry Library. On this edition, we'll meet a group practicing their English conversation skills, learn how books become part of our collection, and why kids should read to dogs. We have an interesting show lined up for you today. So sit back and relax while we introduce you to some fascinating books and programs available at your Fairfax County Public Library on Check It Out! Our region is home to people from around the world, many of whom are learning to speak English for the first time. The Fairfax County Public Library has an array of resources available to residents seeking to learn and improve their English language skills. Many of our branches host English speaking conversation groups that help non-native speakers practice in a friendly and relaxed setting. Each week we have an ESL class for adults in the library. Um, this is Patrick Henry, so we're in the Vienna Library and we do it in the little conference room that's off to your right when you come in the main doors. Um, we have it for about an hour and a half. Currently we have two groups, a beginner's group and an advanced group. Each week we come up with a lesson plan, usually related to whatever is going on in the calendar at that point. So around Christmas time we'll talk about Christmas traditions and other winter holiday traditions. Um, and we get a lot of students from all over the place. Uh, I have some from the Czech Republic, I have some from Syria, I have some from China. Um, so any and all are welcome. All levels of ability are welcome. And we just discuss. Um, we help each other with vocabulary. I'm there to direct the conversation and I'm there to clarify vocabulary terms. But it's as largely student directed as we can get it. Most of my students want to learn English for everyday conversation, um, for just communication with everybody around them, um, in their neighborhoods, in their schools, school meetings, teacher meetings, things like that. Three years ago, I started to learn English. I came to USA at uh, October 2011 because I am Syrian because the situation in Syria was very bad. My children lived here, so I have to stay here to be safe. It's a very nice class. We can meet very nice people from other countries. It's a good opportunity to go out and to see people. And really, I appreciate a lot what you do for us. So this is entirely volunteer run. We definitely need more volunteers. We need a volunteer every single time the class meets and people's schedules vary so much. They're also hoping to expand across different branches. So if you want to learn more, go visit the Fairfax County Library website. It's fairfaxcounty.gov library or go to your local library branch. They have information for you. Looking for additional ways to improve your English language skills? Check out these ESL library favorites. ESL Demystified, Hard Stuff Made Easy, is a great tool for the advanced beginner, but challenging enough for intermediate students. In The Ultimate Phrasal Verb Book for ESL and EFL students, readers can learn how to use 400 common phrasal verbs in everyday English. Learn English at your own pace with Easy English Step-by-Step -step for ESL Learners. Sharpen your language skills while you expand your knowledge of American culture in Better Reading English, Improve Your Understanding of Written English. And finally, ESL students can grow their career with effective workplace language in English for Everyone, Business English Coursebook. From historical romances to current biographies, from children's picture books to science fiction. The Fairfax County Public Library's collection contains tens of thousands of titles. 
Ever wonder how a new book gets onto our shelves? Let's go behind the scenes to meet the Fairfax County Public Library's technical operations staff and learn more. We are in the Technical Operations Center for Fairfax County Public Library. And what we do here is really getting a book from the time it's been published by a publisher to getting it on the shelves for our library customers to use. So I am the youth materials selector, so I get to select books for children and teens from ages 0 up through 18. So I look at board books, picture books, early readers, chapter books, um, young adult fiction, and all sorts of nonfiction as well. One of the things that I try to do is to make sure that we have a wide representation of viewpoints and stories and perspectives. I've been in this department 22 years and it has been a tremendous change. The explosion of formats, the possibilities of titles, it's just incredible. We basically have three streams of source for things that we select for the system. Customer suggestions, staff suggestions, and what I see in my travels. As I tell people, everything is grist for the mills as to what I'm gonna select. And then I try and mesh it all into lists that are passed on to be ordered. The arrival happens after they've been selected, which happens in the collection services department. So say after I've selected a picture book, it will be received um, in our receiving department. They make sure that we got the right title and the right number of copies of that title and then they pass it along to cataloging. Cataloging staff make sure that all of the information for the book is correct so that somebody could search for the author, the title, the subject, the series, and find the book that way. Then once cataloging has done their thing, it goes to processing, and our processing staff put the finishing touches on the physical book or material. So they will put on a spine label so that people can find this item, and then once they are finished, they move it along and it'll go out to our branches and customers get to use it. We have a form on our catalog called Suggest a Title, and we love to hear what customers are interested in. They can tell us um, a title or an author or a subject that they're interested in and ask us to see if we can find that to purchase. We also have suggestions um, available through our OverDrive ebook platform, so they can tell us if there is an ebook or e audiobook that they're interested in that we don't have yet. We're always happy to hear what you're interested in, and we would love for you to come down to your local library branch to see what's new on the shelves. Coming up next on Check It Out, our Children's Corner, where reading is going to the dogs right after this message from your Fairfax County Public Library. Welcome to Patrick Henry Library. Our branch has been incorporated for over 100 years, serving the town of Vienna every step of the way. Patrick Henry is the busiest library of its size in Fairfax County. It is conveniently located near quaint neighborhood shops and the WNOD bike trail. Step inside and take a trip through our collection of over 95,000 volumes. From enchanted storybooks to page-turning mystery novels, we have everything you need to satisfy your literary appetite. If you're looking for a book to call your own, you won't want to miss the biannual book sale, hosted by the friends of Patrick Henry Library. Shh, here's a little secret. We're not always so quiet, especially during our ongoing library events. Visitors can improve their understanding of the English language through our interactive ESL classes or delight in some canine fun during our Read to a Dog series. Patrick Henry Library is located at 101 Maple Avenue East. For more information, give us a call at 703-938-0405 or visit fairfaxcounty.gov library. Your Fairfax County Public Library. We're everywhere you are. Need a little practice reading or just love dogs? We'd like to introduce you to a very special program available in many of your Fairfax County Public Library's branches. Our Read to the Dog programs help young readers gain confidence and maybe even a new furry friend. Read to the Dogs um, is a kind of a practice session where kids can come in yes. and read to a trained therapy dog. It gives the children a, a place to practice their reading skills um, because the, way, the best way to learn a new skill is to practice, practice, practice. 
Um, Abby and I started this program here at, at Patrick Henry Library nine years ago, and uh, she was certified as a read dog, and the READ spells for Reading Education Assistance Dogs. Many children come in here with learning disabilities, and reading is very difficult for them, and they become nervous while they're reading out loud. So the dog calms them down. They usually pet her while she's listening to their story and it helps them um, with their vocabulary, it helps them with their enunciation and just everything across the board for better reading. The children come um, for 15 minutes each and it's one child per dog and I'm here to facilitate that, but I don't say anything unless the child needs help with a word. This is Truman. We've been volunteering here at the Hernan Fort Nye Library for uh, over two years. And some of the kids uh, who come more often, every time they come we see an improvement in how well they read, uh, in uh, how well they pronounce, how well they recognize words. It's just uh, really rewarding. We have a lot of fun doing it. We have it from ages 6 to 12, but I've had younger and I've had older. And I've had very proficient readers and I've had readers with uh, a great deal of difficulty. But we get through it and I do see improvement in every week. What time is it? It feels too early to be awake. I'm reading The Never Girls from the Mist. It's, it's about the Tinkerbell movie, and, but with four tomorrow. girls going into the, the fairy world. It was fun, and usually when I read at home, I, I don't really enjoy the book, but today when I read to Truman, I enjoyed the book. The books that we offer at the program, again, they can be, kids can read whatever, but we like to try to tie in whatever holiday is coming up or, you know, if it's been really rainy for the last few days, we'll find some rainy day books. And of course, books about dogs. Um, I, I like to never put out any cat books, so the dogs can always know that they're in a safe place without any cats. <laughs> Well, she seems to like all the Clifford dog books, and the kids seem to like to read those to her, so she, uh, she'll listen to anything. But she, just, she really just loves the kids. It's just a great program. Uh, it works, I've seen it work, and uh, I love being a part of it, and so does Abby. Good boy. Interested in signing your child up to read to a dog? Visit your local branch and pick up our print calendar of events or search events online at fairfaxcounty.gov library. Now let's check out some fun books that celebrate our favorite four-legged friends. Beginning readers will fall in love with Henry and Mudge, a ready-to-read series featuring a boy and his lovable 180-pound dog, Mudge. Chester and Gus is a story of the remarkable bond between an aspiring service dog and a young boy in need of a friend. For service dogs with a slightly larger task at hand, check out Secret Service Dogs, the heroes who protect the President of the United States. Take a leap into the canine world in Inside of a Dog, What Dogs See, Smell, and Know. And last but not least, end your story time with a little bit of puppy love, true stories of doggy devotion. Well, that's it for this edition of Check It Out. If you're interested in learning more about the fascinating books and programs available to you, make sure to visit your nearest Fairfax County Public Library. See you next time.